Hey, what is up, guys? It's me, Amir again from Hordart. Welcome back. And today's topic about the micro LED. And this thing has been predicted way long ago that this is the next generation display technology that's gonna happen in this world. So let's have a major look at the OLED. Like while OLED technology is currently enjoying its time in the spotlight, displays innovator are already turning their attention to the next big technological shift. Yes, it's micro LED. Major product company including Samsung, Apple and Facebook, all of us are already looking at the technology for future product and various manufacturer and research companies are stocking up on patents. And this is not a first impression of micro LED. Like uh, micro LED technologies was invented in the year 2000 by a research group from the Texas Tech University. However, the first demonstration of micro LED is a consumer product can be tracked back back to Sony's 55 inch full HD crystal LED display. Micro LED tech could be a smile in this way like micro LED shares a number of traits with OLED technologies making comparison a little easier than the LCD versus the OLED debates. For starters, you will notice that both have LED in their name meaning that they are both constructed from the light emitting diodes. This means the two are self-emitting technologies, so red, green and blue subpixel produce its own lights unlike LCD which requires a dedicated backlight. Therefore, micro LED display will offer very high contrast ratio and deep blacks just like OLED. There is also a TFT plan used to power each of the individual pixels. Where micro LED differ from the OLED is the, in the makeup of their LED material. The O in OLED stands for organic and refers to the organic materials used in the light producing part of the pixel stack. Micro LED technology changes this to an inorganic gallium nitrate. You can also say the GAM material, which is typically found in regular LED lighting. This switch also reduces the need of polarizing and encapsulation layer, making panels thinner. As a result, micro LED components are tiny, hence the name measuring less than 100 UM per hour. That's less than the width of the human hair. OMG. And also look at the comparison chart between the TFT LCD OLED and micro LED differ. This. As you can see in the chart, we have a one two three four five six object included in the tft and it says that setup of electric circuit at the liquid crystal layer of tft lcd would trigger transfer of molecules which coupled with color filters and backlight source endorse each pixel's three original colors red blue and green whose mixture creates light in various colors and move on to oled it has got uh, far better than the TFT LCD. It says that triggered by electric current, OLED can emit light in various colors by mixing red, blue, and green light from its organic thin film, which is more vivid than the common LCD screens. And at the last, we have the most awaited micro LED features. It says that micro LED features miniature LED arrays with each micro LED functioning as a pixel and you can be driven to emit light. Wow, that sounds crazy. With modules becoming smaller, brighter, image quality and response speed improved. So this is pretty cool of it. Like uh, another way of looking at this, the micro LED are simply traditional LED is shrunk down and plays into an array. Micro LED displays will also offer a longer lifespan than the current OLED panel. Since OLED burn is still an issue due to the limited lifespan of the organic materials used to make the blue OLED, micro LEDs don't exhibit the same problems and could even last longer than LCD displays before color shifting begins to occur. And yes, that's a plus point for the micro LED users. And you can also see this framework have done by the resource your development. And my final thoughts would be like micro LED technology certainly sounds promising and there are plenty of upsides that are particularly well suited to mobile product. 
especially for the flexible display. Although many manufacturers are only just tuning into the Benefer's OLED, high-end OEMS are almost certainly eyeing up the micro LED as the next generation display technology. And lastly, I expect that micro LED display could be more expensive rather than that uh, previous one OLED 8K8 for smartphone VR one. So we need to bend our hands for that kind of scenario. And then, yeah, that's pretty much of it. Thanks for watching my video. Talk to you guys in the next one. Till then, peace.